Hey girl, hey, so today I got back from Seattle and I've actually talked about it a few times on my channel, my vlog channel, whatever, um, but me and my friends um, were planning on a road trip to Canada and then 10 minutes before I was supposed to leave and pick them up, I looked at my passport and realized it was expired. So we had to completely change our plans and instead of going all the way up to Canada, we just went up to Seattle and hung out for a few days and we still had a lot of fun and we did some shopping so I'm going to show you some things I bought there. If you want to watch vlogs, I did a little bit of vlogging, um, follow me around style, hello, well, we were in Seattle so I'll have my vlog channel linked down below where you can watch those so um, let's get started to see what I got. So first we went to Nordstrom and I think the BP pads are really cute but I just got a couple things. I got this top, I got a lot of floral stuff. Um, this is, uh, mm, it's all tangled, it's this really cute floral tank top, um, so it's kind of sheer with a dark background and bright orange and purple florals, and then, um, the back of it is two strips with bows on them, so I thought that was really cute and very nice and summery, ta-da! And then the only other thing I got was this, um, black t-shirt with a nice pink purple and ivory floral pattern on it so I'm a big fan of the florals. Then we went to Victoria's Secret and I'm so excited about this stuff. Um, okay first I got this planner. This is probably the most exciting thing ever. Um, I mentioned in one of my vlogs that I started a want worthy page for things I wanted for college and I actually had this on here and then I saw it in person so I bought it and it's just the cutest planner ever. It's black with pink and green florals on it and it's so cute and it just says pink on it in silver letters. Um, so this is a 2013 to 2014 calendar um, planner for school. So I definitely think this will be useful because I'm going to college next month. So I'm definitely going to utilize this and it has plenty of space. Um, it has a bunch of note space and it has plenty of space to write in each day. So I'm really excited about this. It's so freaking cute. And then they had this one that was like a black and white Aztec pattern that was also really cute, but I got the floral. Okay, and then next at Victoria's Secret, I just got a pair of cropped leggings with this really cute Aztec pattern on the band. And um, I do have some cropped yoga pants, but I don't have cropped leggings. So these ones are tied against your legs while the other ones aren't. So I thought this would be really cute, and I love these. They're super comfy. And this is kind of weird, but I don't really care. But um, Victoria's Secret, they always do these, like, certain amount of whatever for a certain price for underwear. So I got pink ones. Um, this one's really cute. Oh, no, just kidding. Well, it's still cute. These are mint, and they say pink on the butt. Um, this one's gray and boring. This one's really cute. This one is also mint, and it has chevrons all over the front of it they're like glossy though so it's kind of hard to see unless yeah and then um i just got a pair of nude ones if i'm wearing something that is like i mean not that i wear see-through things but sometimes there's just things that look better with light color i don't know i just thought they'd be useful okay so that was five for 26 which i feel like it's usually seven for 26 but it's whatever. I went to, oh, I went to this store called Garage and I died when I saw this because I've always seen people talking about Garage um, on YouTube and stuff and they always have cute clothes that I've wanted to be able to get but I never have come across a Garage before but then they have one at South Center Mall so I died. I didn't really die. I bought two things but you know. First I got this really cute, god I'm really going overboard with the floral but I got this really cute um, white floral print dress so yeah um I don't really know what else to say about it it's like spaghetti strap I like it because the straps are adjustable a lot of the times dresses can be really low on me and it's really uncomfortable but these are adjustable so then that'll help and it's just really summery and I thought this might be nice because I'm going to LA in a week and a half for VidCon and then I got this skirt which I've seen a lot that look like this but are usually really expensive and this oh by the way the dress was $35 and this was 30 which I really don't think is that bad but um it's just this ivory lacy detailed skirt which I think is adorable and I think this is gonna be really cute with a black top um so yeah I they had a black one too but I like this one better and then I went to this store called Alley Cat which I've been to on in Lloyd Center and um, I liked it because they had a lot of cheap stuff, so I went, I don't want to move the bag because it's so loud. I went in this mall too, so I went. <clears throat> I didn't find that 
Shut up. I didn't find that much, but um, first I just got this kind of muscle tee looking big tank top. It's like a nice rose pink color. Kind of this tribal print on it, which I thought was cute. Um, it, this was like 10 bucks, so that's why I think this are, it's a nice store because it's cheap. The only th other things I got were a couple of camisoles because I wear them literally all the time. And this one is like a ivory cream color. And this one's black because I never have enough. I mean, I do, but I always buy them anyway. <laughs> I don't know. And this one has adjustable straps too, which is a plus. And these were five bucks each, so, you know. So that is everything I bought on my trip to Seattle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've bought anything exciting lately. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!